morning, everybody. Hey, I hope you're doing well. Hey, I want to talk to you guys about our newest hero for Dungeon Boss, Gretel. Um, I'm really excited about her. I think she's going to bring some uh, very welcome changes to the meta, um, while also not being insanely overpowered, but she brings a lot of great passives to the game um, and has a lot of great abilities. So without further ado, let's do a little bit of talking about her. I love me some Gretel, yeah. I love the Gretel. Without the Gretel, we get no cookies. I love the cookies too. I love. Uh, let's talk about the hero. Okay, enough of that. So, first things first. She's a fast caster goblin. She's nature based. What we're gonna do is go over some passives. So, she is of course magical. Takes less damage from non-physical attacks. Okay, she's fast. She attacks first, uh, but base attack reduced by twenty percent. Skill increased by 20%. When this hero attacks a bunny, if there are other enemies, transfers damage to all other enemies. So, um, well, that, that, I'll bring that up in just a bit. Uh, Sanctified Swamp allies take 50% reduced chaos damage. That's all allies, not just goblins. So now, um, Draconic Heirloom, um, missile attacks from the dragons, um, the basic attacks, etc. Those are going to be reduced by 50%. Um, that is massive, 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 massive. It's a great way to really slow down the dragons that have dominated the meta for so very long now. Toady Toadstools. When on a team with Cruel King Gamble, uh, goblins deal an additional 10% total chaos damage. So exactly what like Dagon does for dwarves with the 10% chaos damage. Now, with on a team with CKB, Gretel's gonna do that for the goblins. And I will refer to her as the Gretel, yeah. Bunny allergy. Deals 20% more damage for each bunny on the field. Takes 50% reduced damage from all non-chaos sources. Damage reduction is reduced by 20% by for, for each bunny on the field. So now, her S1, for example, is Little Bunny. It turns an opponent into a bunny. So with that, you get 20% more damage reduction, okay? And so that is another great boost for the allies. Now this ability for my next trick, it's a ranged basic attack on target enemy for 2011 base damage and turns all other enemies become a bunny. Now, that would mean you have 60% additional damage reduction from non-physical attacks and what have you. So it's a great hero that'll not only slow down chaos damage, but it'll slow down a lot of damage for a lot of your team. Um, couple this with like Serenity, say you're gonna have a lot of very good um, damage reduction. Now, I've already asked this question, the damage reduction from Serenity and from Gretar will be additive, not multiplicative. So this is a really great way to slow teams down. Now you see the 11% now, it's a green number. With more skill, that 11% chance for it to be a permanent bunny transformation will go up. So skill's not necessarily a bad thing on Gretor. So, a Hex Wand, range spirit attack on target enemy and another random enemy for your 789 base damage, reduces attack on each target for hit, the, hit for the turn, sorry. So now, let's pretend that you're auto attacking like a Dagon or a Valken or a Dragon they're gonna have reduced attack um, for those hits. Now, one thing that I'm gonna ask them to do is add a percentage of reduced attack right here in green green letters, like kind of like they do for other abilities, because it reduced the attack, but we don't know by how much. And versus guessing, I'd like to see a percentage there. Little Bunny, we already read about it. Turns a target enemy into Little Bunny, ignores vigilance, a bodyguard effect, so Hansuki can't block this, Grandar can't block this. Um, Oh man, uh, what's the, Kozar can't block this. Um, it, uh, Overlord Executive can't block this. You are not gonna be able to jump in the way and mitigate this ability. So, and it turns into someone into a bunny, it ignores foresight and it can't miss. So um, even if there's an evasion on the character you're casting this on, uh, you're still gonna land this shot. Bayou Boogie, reduced nature attack on the, I'm oh, sorry, reduced, sorry. Range nature attack on target and enemy and up to two other random targets 
for 1,893 base damage. Allies gain crit immune and a defensive plus for three turns. Now, the crit immune is great because you're already going to have reduced damage because of, the, uh, of her and Serenity. But then also now, you're going to be able to have um, a defensive plus for three rounds. And think the same amount as for a Guardian rune. So now let's take her out for a test drive, okay? So right now, um, because mine's only two stars, right now um, I'm not I taking against a Dagon lead is kind of tricky because most likely she's just gonna die immediately. So I'm gonna bring her like this, and most likely the Dagon's just gonna hit her. So mine, I I suggest building it for now. I built mine very balanced, so I want an, about an equal amount of offense, defense, health. And I also have an evasion rune on mine. So she's dead, but that's okay because all that means is I'm going to get a body for um, uh, uh, Nivius here. So I'm not worried about it at all. Okay, that's that's actually a really crappy. Let's not do that again. That was just a really crappy fight. I mean, really easy. Um, let's see if we got someone that's not a perfect swing lead. Okay, so right here we go. I love the S1 because it turns something into a bunny. It ignores foresight, etc., and it can't miss. Now, one thing I am lobbying for right now is for this to be turned into an ability that um, um that um uh, has blind sight. So if if we could add the blind eye passive to Gratter, that would be wonderful. So we already know that um this uh, Serenity is going next. So I'm going to go ahead and turn her into a bunny. Boom, bang. We got the crits off. Now imagine if CKB was on the team. Um, you would be able to crit and then Gretel's going to throw around a bunch of basic attacks. But once again, with her basic attacks now, with CKB was on the team, she'd be reducing people's attack right now because of uh, her base attack um, uh, ability. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Me gusta. Me gusta. Yeah. Real quick, you'll notice that I didn't burn my cold summons there because, and it's not on accident, I didn't burn my cold summons there because um, you, you don't want to blow cold summons whenever you don't need to. Cut this chick down. Have a nice day. Really amazing amount of damage reduction with um, Gretel on the team there. And of course, the ability to shut someone down. Um, Hallowed has uh, offensive there. Um, so many things we could use it with, but I'm trying to bring her on. Hallowed has an offensive lore, otherwise I'd tow it. So let's have a little bit of fun here. Okay, so we're going to go with Gretel. We're going to go with her. We're going to go with CKB. And we're going to go with, uh, where is, where is he? There we go. You want to see some damage reduction, boys, boy. Boy, howdy, do I have some damage reduction for you. Now remember with CKB here, every crit's gonna lend me another um, um, follow-up attack. And that's great, especially with our man um, uh, Nub Nub on the team. I'm going to go ahead, see see right now, right here is where I exactly wish that um, uh, Blind Eye Passive was a thing. Look at these crits, look at these attack downs going down, bro. Oh man. Now, my um, uh, Bramble is enabled for the exact purpose of getting crits and then creating follow-ups. So, I'm going to go ahead and do this, get some healing going on. Let's see if I, let's see if I can outlast this team. Uh, shouldn't, you shouldn't be able to do this with just like a two-star hero and a bronze hero. So, I'm going to go ahead and go right in here. And you see how I get crits now? And I'm, just, I'm just reducing attack like a madman because of all those passives. And you get my, my CKB, which is kind of messed up, really, if you think about it. Wonder why I'm, uh, wonder why Serenity didn't go. Maybe I wasn't paying attention. That's a really fun team. Um, if I wanted to beat that team, I could, but I'm just having fun right now. Um, so there's a lot of great damage reduction here. Brings there back. If you bring, like, a Miko along, uh, this team can get really nasty, especially with, like, CKB and... Uh, nub nub 
because we're going to get a lot of extra health, lots of attack, defense, bows, and stuff like that. Now, one thing that I do wish is kind of like perennial strikes with Grandar that you could get stacks for basic attacks that reduces enemies' um, attack. I wish the exact same thing for um, the uh, basic attack for Gretel, so we know. So, you see how that auto attack barely did anything? And Gretel's only two stars right now, so um, it's really powerful DR. Really powerful DR there. Cut, cuts just the basic attacks of the dragons in half. If, if Rayla was on the team with this, you'd have 75% uh, basic attack reduction from just from that team. Uh, not worth it. Nikodex. wonder if I could take a punch for here. Let's see. I'm probably going to lose this really fast because, well, she's two stars and, and Miko's offensive. So I'm probably just going to get whacked right here. And that's fine. It's all about learning. It's all about learning, folks. Overall, I think Gretel's a really solid hero. Jesus, a two-star Gretel just survived that. Okay. You're dead. Look at this damage reduction, bro. So I'm going to go right into attacking with Bramble here. And see, now with that, I'm going to get a lot of follow-ups and a lot of damage. And even... Nub Nub should have followed that up as well, actually. And and he would have scored some crits there. Look at that. See, the Draconic Heirloom didn't do jack crap. And I'm really happy because... And look at these crits and paralysis is going off. Oh, dog. You don't want none of this, dog. Oh, you don't want none of this, sucker. See that crit, like, just healing up goblins right there? Just like, look at Nub Nub. Just like, dude, I don't give a crap, bro. I don't care if I'm a bronze hero. I don't care if I'm bronze. Bring that trash to me. You can't you can't touch me, dog. And so keep in mind that's all from a uh, two-star um uh Gretor. I love the Gretor. All right. So his uh, if I remember right his is extremely offensive uh, cuz I think I just beat me cuz I think his if I remember right it's very offensive. But anyway, I hate that bug. So just to recap, great hero, great balance. I'd like to see um, stacks of damage reduction and percentage added to uh, her basic attack tab. And I'd also like the blind eye passive to be added to her. But absolutely a blast to use with Cruel King Bramble. I think she's gonna bring a lot of good stuff. So a percentage there would be nice of, of attack and it, it stacks would be nice. But really good hero, worth the time. I'm, uh, Think she should bring a lot of fun to the meta, especially as we star her up. Y'all have a good day. Bye-bye.